Hello, I'm Professor Kevin Gary. I'm Head of the Applied Aerodynamics Group here within the School of Engineering and I'm Course Director for the Aerospace Dynamics MSc. The Aerospace Dynamics MSc has its origins at the start of the College of Aeronautics in 1946. So we've been supplying graduates to the aerospace industry for more than 60 years. The course is designed either for applicants who already have a background in aeronautical engineering and are looking to specialise in a particular aspect of aerospace sciences, or for applicants with a general engineering background or maths and physics who are looking to move into the aeronautical sector. I'm quite interested in becoming a flight test engineer and so I thought that this class here would be a good place to go. Well, I chose this MSc because I wanted to specialise in aerospace and it was a good opportunity to do it as well with fluid dynamics. Essentially there are three elements to the course format. A group flight test report, a taught component and an individual research thesis. The group flight test report is designed around flying laboratories in the National Flying Laboratory Centre's Jetstream aircraft, which is based here at Cranford. Candidates on the Aerospace Dynamics MSc have six sorties in the aeroplane, and those exercises are designed to supplement the taught material. The taught part of the programme is designed essentially around one of choice. Candidates can select modules from either the aerodynamics stream or the flight dynamics stream or a combination of the two. It's two, two different um, uh, options but we can also mix the lectures and we have really time to choose the one we, which best fits what we want to do. The thesis topics are drawn from staff's research involvement with industry and their own particular research areas. available for Aerospace Dynamics MSc candidates includes a wind tunnel laboratory with 10 wind tunnels. The wind tunnel laboratory provides MSc candidates with access to simulation facilities for a very wide range of wind speeds from hypersonic flows looking at uh, aircraft re-entry through the atmosphere through the supersonic and transonic regime where we're designing transonic aerofoil sections down to more conventional low speed flows and flows associated with non-aeronautical applications such as the flows around buildings and structures and the dispersion of pollutants. Alongside the wind tunnel laboratory we have access to extensive computational resources which allow us to model and simulate flight dynamics and flight control aspects. Access to the, both the experimental facilities and the computational and computational fluid dynamics resources that we have here give students the ability to use industry standard facilities in an environment that enables them to contribute when they move out into the industrial sector. While the majority of Aerospace Dynamics MSc graduates go on to work for the traditional companies like Airbus, Rolls-Royce, BA Systems, Safran. Many go to smaller organisations, smaller consultancies, where the Aerospace Dynamics MSc has given them specific skills such that they can make a contribution in these sectors. Uh, we were not even here for a month when we had a careers fair and there were many companies that came and they were more than happy to offer us um, subjects for our thesis and also job offers, which was quite impressive to see. We'd only been there three weeks and they thought really highly of the, the university and its reputation. As well as the aerospace sector, many of the Aerospace Dynamics MSc graduates go to work in the automotive or motorsport area and in power and energy systems and in the environmental area. The Aerospace Dynamics MSc has a part-time option which enables candidates to register for a minimum of two years and take the same course over a longer period. Candidates registering for the part-time option in Aerospace Dynamics need to discuss their availability with the course director and with their employers to make sure that we can phase the programme to suit their own availability. 
Candidates who have recently completed the Aerospace Dynamics MSc really appreciate both the choice that the course structure gives them, enabling them to choose their own path through the areas that particularly interest them. They also appreciate the close involvement with staff who themselves have close involvement with the industry. So many of the research problems they work on, many of the lectures they attend, are closely linked to problems that are current in industry. I think the biggest benefit is the student to staff ratio, because in most of the, of the taught modules we have been only 15 people about and you get a lot of support from the teaching staff. I hope this video has been useful to you. If you're interested in getting more information about this world-leading master's program in aerospace dynamics, please log on to our website and I look forward to seeing your application in the near future.